All right, everybody. So welcome to the final stage of this painting. This is the finished piece. So we're going to start painting it. Stay tuned. Watch how I get to this stage. So our first tree, we're going to start off with some smaller ones, so just some outlines. Careful not to get any on your fingers, just smudge it a little bit, but that's, that's fine. The way that you can do this is just put your other hand on your painting, on the dry part of your painting and use it as a guide. It's always better to start small when you're doing trees and then make your trees bigger. So start like a small tree and then you can enlarge it if you want to. It's much harder to make it smaller. It's always a little scary when you in a tree. Get too big or it's not in the right spot, and then you might doubt yourself. But don't stress about it. It is your painting. You can create a tree however you want. Not too bad for a straight stick. <laughs> That's all I did. Paint a stick. Okay, we're going to carry on with these trees, I'm just gonna make some branches and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna fill them in. It's gonna look good. Now the, what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that the trunk area and the top are kind of, kind of makes sense because if it's too thin on top, then the trunk will look too fat on the bottom. When you're doing your trees, you want to leave some gaps in between some of the branches just to give it a little bit more of a realistic look. We'll come back to it because we can always make it wider. It's better to start thinner and then make your uh, tree wider than, than go the other way, make it too wide and then try to paint in the background again. We'll come back to this bigger stick that we painted. <laughs> I just want to get a, an idea of some trees in here though. Oh, I like how that one's looking. I just kind of brushed it down like that. I just got a big long uh, liner brush and I'm going to paint some limbs. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to a smaller, um, actually it's a zero liner brush. And I just want to paint some branches up here. I just didn't want to use that bigger, the bigger uh, brush, the thicker brush. It's important to put the branches out. It gives you an idea of how this tree is gonna, gonna look. We're gonna have other colors in here. We're gonna put some, some green and probably some yellow. So that's why up here, anyhow, I am taking my time trying to make these limbs look like uh, pine needles already. You can see I put a little bit too much water on my brush. I'm just going to re-dip it. Actually, right now what I'm going to do, that's not looking too bad, but right now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring you guys a little bit closer to see the detail that I'm doing. So you can see how I'm bringing out the branch and then as I'm going out, I'm pulling away from my brush. When I go back to get paint, I really just put a tiny bit on my brush as I'm doing this. There, I think I'm gonna leave this dead branch there though. I'm gonna go to a flat brush. I'm gonna make some uh, branches on the trees that are more visible, um, for example, this one, we're gonna have to go back and like put branches, additional branches and 
uh, some more detail in there. Okay, we're gonna come back to that tree after. Oh, what should we do? Should we get another tree in there? I think we should. Before we carry on with the, some more trees, because perhaps we're gonna put one right here. I wanna, I wanna like make the sky a little bit more vibrant. So what I did here is I started off with a thinner line and then I'm just making it thicker as I go. And I'm gonna put another shorter tree. And that tree's gonna come right to here. We're gonna zoom in here, bring you a lot closer. Just gonna make this trunk a little bit thicker here. There's no rush here. This is relaxing painting. So maybe the little pine needles hanging off of this one. All right, I think we're gonna put some branches on this one up here. Top of this tree is gonna be pretty full. Still wanna see a little bit of the sky through some of this. This uh, branch here is also going to have some pine needles. So now we're going to start working in some branches down, down the tree. decided which branch I'm going to leave without needles, like a dead branch, or am I going to fill them all in? I want to completely block it in where you can't see the background at all, because very rarely does a tree um, have so many leaves that, it, that it's so full of leaves that you can't see through it. Almost like it's too heavy for the branch. Okay, this one as well. And we're gonna we're gonna keep on working our way down because we started it curving it up, and then I changed my mind. So now there's gonna be like flat, more like flat tops, and then it's gonna kind of like just work its way down. It's fine that you change your mind on how your tree's gonna look. I just think that this gives it a little bit more dramatic, a different type of pine tree. I might even make it come down a little bit more. I think up here, that's looking good. I want some of my branches down here to be even wider. So I'm gonna bring this one over. Maybe another branch right here. I think we're going to carry on with the trees, making them a little bit more green and getting some detail in that. Let's go. Okay, so I just mixed up a little bit of paint right here. And this is going to be for the trunk. Some highlighted areas. Some of these roots will be covered up with grass, but I just want to beginning of them anyways. So I'm just going to start putting a little bit of a lighter color on this and that's why I moved you in closer. It is a long process if you want your tree to, to look like it uh, 
It's a pine tree, like a, a realistic pine tree. And there we have it. So I think you're going to carry on doing the same process with the remainder of the trees. All right, so keep on working on it if you want. If you're happy with how that tree looks so far, we'll uh, move on to another portion of the painting. Okay, so I'm just going to keep on working and highlight some of this area down here. I think I'm going to make a bush, uh, some bushes right here. Um, fix up my mountain just a little bit with some highlights and uh, we'll go from there. on this painting and I think by doing that it brings brings this painting to life so I'm gonna say that this painting is now done all right you know how I always said uh, that you need to know when to stop my issue is that I often just keep on working on it and keep on working on it. You have to step back and take a look and then realize, okay, that's enough. That looks good. So with that, I'm going to say that this painting is now done. If you liked all these uh, series of paintings that I did for, for this one painting, uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification button. And then uh, till next time.